everyone and welcome to my kitchen, which can mean only one thing. It is time for hashtag baking with Jim. Uh, I am going to make what is called millionaire shortbread, which is a layer of shortbread with a layer of caramel with a layer of chocolate on top and it's delicious. Let's get going. Uh, these are the ingredients you need. Butter, chocolate, caster sugar, light muscovado sugar, condensed milk and plain flour. It doesn't seem like much, does it, for three layers? But hey ho, let's get going. Martha, what are you doing? Are you pooing out there? You can poo, that's fine. For the shortbread, 250 grams of plain flour, 75 grams of caster sugar, 175 grams of softened butter. This has been out all day, so not only is it soft, it's kind of melty. Method, preheat the oven to 180, uh, lightly grease a 13 by 9 inch, which is 33 by 23 centimetre Swiss rolls here. I don't know if I have one of those, so I'm just going to find a tin and put it in the tin I have. 180, done. Tin. Tin, 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 tin. Hello. These are my choices of tin. That one can't be 13 by 9 because it's a square, so I'm going to discount that one. That's also a square. <laughs> and that one's too shallow. Crap, we've hit a hurdle. Found another one. I think it's also square. In fact, it's the same dimensions as the other two. But it's black, I like it more. We're gonna use that one. And now I'm gonna need a bowl, so I've just got some bowls out. You'll do. So I'm supposed to lightly grease this thing. I'm just gonna get my butter out and just rub it all over it. That'll grease ya. Oh my God, it's been out all day and it's so melty. Oh no, that's much more than lightly greased. Okay, now I need kitchen rolls to rub that around. Ugh, it's on the side of my hand, that's the worst. Oh my god, we've got a kitchen roll left. Oh, it's okay, I've got more. Hey Martha, want a kitchen roll tube? You love these. Do you want it? Come on, come on. Come get it, come get it. Go bananas, it's all yours. Rip it up. <laughs> See you then. She just walks off with it out of her nose like a big trunk. Okay, lightly greasing. I think this is kind of more heavily greased, but it's greased. Greased! To make the shortbread, mix the flour and caster sugar in a bowl. I'll do that first. How what was it? It was 250 grams and 75 grams. Scales! 75! Ooh! Swing! Rub in the butter until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. That was 175 grams of butter. It's gonna balance you for a minute. <laughs> I've done this the wrong way around, really. That'll do, that's spot on. Now, what I need to do is get that butter into there and this butter back into the wrapping. <laughs> I'm so stupid, what do I do it this way for? Come on, get in. No, don't you drop. Oh, the wrong bit fell in. How much did that weigh? I'm gonna have to get my hand in. Ah! Come on, off. Bingo! Ooh. Next step is to rub together until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. I'm going to basically cover the, the uh, butter in flour and sugar first. So, oh god, it makes no difference because when you start touching it, it all opens up anyway. And basically, you're just fingering butter. I think I'm doing this right. I remember being told to be kind of like, oops, I just threw it on the floor. Light and gentle with it. Fairy fingers, I believe it was called when I was at school. Knead the mixture together until it forms a dough, then press into the base of the prepared tin. Prick the shortbread lightly with a fork and bake in the preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until firm to the touch and very lightly browned. Cool in the tin. Okay, so just squish it all together, ram it in there, stick it in there. Much simpler. How do you knead something? You just sort of do this. Okay, right. Plonk. Squish it all in. Look at that! That is shortbread in a tin! Well done me! Now, in the oven they said 20 minutes at 180 or until it's lightly golden. So what I'm going to do is... that's already too high, it's on 200, so that's bad. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to probably set the timer for 15 minutes and check on it. Siri, set timer 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and count on. Have you noticed how Siri sounds a bit like me? To make the caramel, you need to measure the butter, sugar and condensed milk into a pan and heat gently until the sugar has dissolved. Bring to the boil, stirring all the time, 
then reduce the heat and simmer very gently stirring occasionally for about five minutes or until the mixture has thickened slightly. Oh my god, pour it over the shortbread, leave to cool. So basically you put it in, wait for it to melt, boil it, but for how long? Then you simmer it. Ugh. 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of light muscovado sugar, two times tins of condensed milk. Have I got a tin opener? <gasps> oh, I do have a tin opener. Do we think a big pan? Because it will then boil quicker. I just don't know, I'm so out of my league here. That's spot on, 100 grams, I'm so good at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hundred grams of light mascavado sugar, which just is a clump. It's, like a, it's a clump of sugar. It's like squeezing a slug out of a bag. Oh, it smells really milky. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like it. That is horrendous. Why is it anything that consistency? Especially anything you eat. It looks like the stuff that bacteria leaves behind when it's finished devouring a body. Sweetened condensed milk, minimum 8% milk fat. 20% milk solids, no fat. If a cow was supposed to make milk like that, it would have udders with much bigger holes. <laughs> so it could like, come out like toothpaste. Not even you like this, Martha. You'd hate condensed milk, and you're a dog, and you'll eat literally anything, like your own poo. Currently looks like vomit has been left in the sun. <laughs> Lovely, baking with Jim. I'm pretty sure my sugar has melted into this, so it's time to crank this bitch up to 11 and boil it. It's really boring, this, Martha. My arm is on fire because it's so hot. Oh, we're getting some bubbles. Oh, oh, it's starting to boil. I think. Ah, my god, my bloody shortbread's done in the. Ah, okay. Siri, stop. Oh, crap, I can't stop staring at you. Um, now I need like an oven glove. Ah. Oh, god, I dropped the tea towel in her dog food. Oh, that's good. Don't play with your tea towel that I just dropped. Oh god, you put your foot in it. Okay, I can calm down with the stirring of it now and show you my shortbread. Lightly golden brown, good, right? Here's my caramel. I think it's alright, you know. Let's pour. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I have to let my caramel cool before melting my chocolate and pouring it on top because if I melt my chocolate and pour it on top of melted caramel, it's all gonna turn to one weird, mushy, probably delicious layer. Oh my god, it's so hot! Holy shit, I burnt my finger off. If you make caramel, just bear in mind it stays hot for a long time. Shit! I have an ice cube on the end of my finger because I really did burn it. There's a blister on the end. Caramel stays hot for a long time. My caramel is now set and cool, so it's time to melt some chocolate. I need 200 grams of chocolate. These come in 110 gram packs, so I get 20 grams to myself. Uh, I'm gonna melt it, boil the kettle, put the water in there, put a bowl on top, melt it gently. Oh, I love chocolate. You can't eat chocolate, can you? Because it kills dogs. It's almost worth it, you know. Just let it melt. Smear it all around. Oh, it looks so good. Millionaire shortbread. The chocolate still isn't actually quite set yet, but it is now five past midnight and I'm tired. So I'm gonna cut it open anyway. Let's see how it looks. Really hard to cut through. <laughs> Check that out, how good is that? So you've got the shortbread, and you've got caramel, and you've got chocolate. Oh wow, it's really good. Really good, wow. Another successful baking with Jim. If you make this, then um, take a picture, post it on Instagram or Twitter or something, use the hashtag baking with Jim, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Really bloody good.